I just love noodles. <laughs> Not as much as me, dude. Not as much as me. Oh, yeah? I bet I love them even more. <laughs> okay, then. How much do you love noodles? This much. And I... So how much do you love noodles? Oh my god! Look, baby, I'm gonna win this race, and I'm gonna win it for you. I don't want you to race, though. Don't you get it? Your whole life you've been wanting to move fast, and all I want is for us to slow down. Don't talk like that, baby. You know if I don't win this race, you can't treat my dad's cancer. Man, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Please, leave! The fire is spreading! 
Tim Tim, please go on without me. Don't be a hero, Tim Tim. Tim Tim, Tim, Tim no, no, Tim Tim, no, God, why? Why, my little monkey friend? Oh God, why did it have to be Tim Tim? He used to swing from the trees, but now he burns. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what happens when you live a life of hate. Could have said have a nice day, but no! Dead monkey friend. It's going black. Here I come, Tim Tim. Daddy's coming home. <laughs> hey, the, the door still works. Those damn child locks get me every time. <laughs> well, son, are you ready to open your present? Oh. What? It's your very own pony! Dad, you idiot! I wanted an Xbox! Ugh! Uh-uh-uh. Not so fast, son. This isn't just a pony. For within this pony is the antidote. An antidote, you ask? Why, the antidote for the poison that was in your birthday cake! <laughs> oh yes, that's right, son. You ate a poison. Now you get to choose either to kill the pony to retrieve the antidote, or spare the pony and let yourself die. The clock is ticking, birthday boy. <laughs> kill the pony. <laughs> you get him, you get him, son. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, son! <laughs> well, it would seem that the lesson was more valuable than the present. Hey, boy. Happy Mother's Day, Bobby! Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Bob... <sighs> She's too smart for me. welcomes you. What brings you to the doorstep of the dead? <laughs> My husband. Dad passed away last year. It, it was so sudden. It's been difficult. <laughs> Any type of closure would help me. Help us. Ah, yes, I see. Please, allow me to conjure up your father's ghost. Pippini, 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 I have crossed the ethereal plane! I can feel the spirits all around! That'll be $85. Oh, uh, do you have change for a hundred? I accept tips! God, you stupid French. Yes! Yes! He is here! Theodore! Your son and wife are here! What would you like to say to them? 
He says... Boo! Boo? Boo? What? There's more! Boo! 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 Oh, wow. Very funny, lady. Come on, Mom. I told you she was a fraud. <laughs> You're sick! No, wait! He, he keeps saying boo! 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 What does it mean? Boo! It means you're a terrible medium! Boo! Boo! You're a terrible medium! Boo! 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 You're not a medium! You're an extra large! Boo! All right, we got three more babies coming up. One for you. And one for you. And one for you. My boy, my people are in grave danger and are in need of your help. Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Heck yes, I am! Then come, follow me. There isn't much time. Woo! I don't know what's wrong with me, Doctor. I just feel upset and miserable. Just start at the beginning. Well, I guess it all started when I walked into this room. Hey, it's the loser! Have a seat, loser! Would you like a bib or a diaper, you sad, pathetic, giant baby? Huh? You gonna cry? You gonna cry, big baby? And how did that make you feel? Sad. Good! Ooh! Ha ha! Ah! Huh? Hey, are you okay? And that's how I lost all this weight. <laughs> I don't care! Name? 
Uh, Nathan Summers. Let's see. Nathan Summers. Nathan... Oh, my God! No, no, no! Oh, there's been a mistake! What? You aren't supposed to be dead yet. Or I could lose my job over this. Okay. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I have to send you back. You must wait until it's your time. Oh, man. I must have hit my head on every step on the way down. Where was I? Suicide, huh? <laughs> I'll see you in hell. Welcome back to HQ, Agent 7. Fantastic work on your recent mission, Agent 7. Ah, Agent 7. It seems you have returned from Peru in one piece. Did you enjoy your time in the Peruvian wilds? Ha! <laughs> if I never see another abandoned limestone quarry full of poisonous insects again, it'll be too soon. It's a good thing you gave me that ski pole that doubles as a grappling hook. Quite ingenious. I'm glad it could aid you in your mission, Agent Seven. Ah, yes. That reminds me. Come see what I have available for your next mission. Now, see here, Agent Seven. This may look like an ordinary pen. Yes, but it's no ordinary pen, is it, Clue? Correct, Agent Seven. It is a rather extraordinary pen that doubles as a miniature explosive. Just click the pen once to arm the explosive, click twice to disarm the explosive, and click three times to arm the vibrating function. Moving on, this... Slow down there, Clue, old boy. I get that it's a concealed explosive, but why does it vibrate? Ah, uh, yes, that's to stimulate the prostate. Now, where were we? Glue, I think you might need a holiday. Being down here in the lab is starting to get to you. I've never felt better. Moving on, this is a top-of-the-line titanium flashlight. A must-have for any agent. It works under water, has an eight-hour battery life, and when you unscrew the cap, you'll find a synthetic vagina. Clue, why would I need a fake vagina? My mission is in the mountains of Tibet, not the brothels of Germany. I assure you, this is all imperative to complete your mission. Which brings me to the next gadget. A fully loaded FNP-90 compact assault rifle with attached silencer. Now we're talking. That shoots Lou. Clue, you are really losing it in your old age. Not now, Agent Seven. I must inform you on the new upgrades to your car. I added a motorized Sibian to your driver's seat and a briefcase that sprays a gas-based aphrodisiac when opened. But wait, I, I... Agent Seven, we need you to depart for your mission. Board the plane immediately so you do not miss your halo jump. Good boy, you are. Who's a star? Yeah, you are. You're such a good boy. Oh, yeah. I oh, like that. I'm going to go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool-Aid. Understood? Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean with my fists. What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Gosh, make room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beastie big man. Yes, you are. He's so fucking cute. Oh, yeah. That's it! Do you want to take this outside? I said, let's take this outside! 
All right, let's do it. Let's take this outside. Evacuating women and children first. We have room for two more. Next. Wow. Okay, climb aboard. Ah, oh, thanks, man. No problem. Hey, all right. Get this bra oh, off me! Freaking heels are killing me! So no good at these rocket tits. Oh, oh, oh man! All right, who wants to play? Hey, I want to return this game. Sorry, bud. Looks like you bought this used. But it's it, it's broken. It doesn't even work. Hmm. Seriously, try it. <sighs> Looks fine to me. Keep going. So, what's the problem? What the... what's the pro... Well, there's no game! Seems right to me. What? You, you just die in the tutorial? I suppose in your game, Hitler gets to live. What? No! I, I... I just... I paid 40 bucks for this thing! You know who paid a lot more than 40 bucks? Uh, let's see. Most of Europe? The Jews? The American soldiers who gave their... Look! Look, I, ju I don't want to get into a whole... You, you know, I just... I, I expect that when I buy a game, I... You get to kill Jews. I understand perfectly. No! I, I just... I, I just want my money back. Come on! Well, can I... Can I... Can I exchange it? Yeah, sure. Good. Uh, what can I exchange it for? <sighs> Anything from the used shelf. Why doesn't it open? <gasps> oh, am I... am I... dead? Oh no! 
Like, I'm dead! Oh god! I'm, I'm a ghost! Oh, wait! <laughs> They're just not open yet! Whoo! Hello there, shopkeep! Good morning! Oh god! I am dead! I died and now I'm a ghost! This isn't fair! It isn't fair! How's my favorite blind deaf employee doing? Fantastic! Oh, he's just blind and deaf. Oh, thank God. I'm alive. I'm... No, 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 no! I'm dead! No! How could this... Oh, whew. it's just a hologram. <laughs> I thought... Oh, no, no! This can't be possible! I can't be dead! It's too soon! Oh, thank God. It's just my twin brother. <laughs> ah! Oh, wait. It's just my reflection. Man. So, uh, he oh, no, does dead. this forever? Yep. Sweet, I'm wow. not dead. That's fucked up. Oh, no! Before you meet my parents, there's something that you should know. My parents are... they're very religious. It's cool, babe. I love you. And I'm sure I'll love your family. Samantha! My little girl! And this must be Charlie! Chuck, Chaz, Chester, Chester Cheetah! <laughs> Lay off those cheese puffs, you! <laughs> yeah. Hon, Samantha's here, and she brought a friend! Dinner's almost ready! Ooh, it smells great, hon. A meal fit for the Lord himself. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to say the blessing and thank the Lord for this feast. Now, how did it get like this? Hey, uh, Chester, you okay? Don't make this weird, okay? Just go with the flow. Give me the power, I beg of you. Hey, Chester, how about you do the carving? Go on, Charlie. Everyone is watching. <laughs> now, Timothy, how'd you get in there? All right! Hail Satan! Now we can eat! This spread looks great and smells great. You're a whiz of the kitchen, Deborah. Who'd you have to sell your soul to to get this good? <laughs> oh, Satan. So, party people, what's the verdict? Are we going to take this upstairs or what? Look, babe, before you meet my parents, there's something I should tell you. My family's a little different, too. Oh, hell no. Fuck this noise. I swear to fucking Christ, what has happened to this country? I'm bored. Yeah, me too. Do you wanna, do you wanna race to that tree over there? Let's do it! Damn it!
what the fuck, dude? There's too much weight. It has to be done. I'm sorry. What makes you think he can hold you? Trust me. He can. He's been working out. Tell him I've been working out. Well, if anything, can't we cut the piano off? Huh. Yeah, that might actually be a good place to start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow the fuck down. I didn't come all the way to perform the first sonata, the summer to this mountain, just to fall off and die. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. There's no other way. I I'm so sorry. Your piano was just too heavy. Your mother's too heavy. Hey! You take that back. Make me. I take it back. Guys, I'm slipping! <laughs> nice. Thank you. Seriously, though, we're all gonna die. Hold on. We're, we're gonna figure this out. If I may, uh, if you're still deciding that whole where to cut the rope thing, um, pretty sure the guy below me is a pedophile. I'm a teacher, not a pedophile. This is a field trip. I've told you guys like nine times. Wait, there's kids down there? We can't kill kids. Not just that. They're retarded kids. Oh, God. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, uh, can't we just cut off the panda bear? I should think not. That's an endangered species. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What does everyone else think? Drop him. Ditto. Kill the panda. Cool. Here you go. Oops. Well, this is it. I know this will be hard to understand right now, but little baby Ellie is in a better place. We might not see or understand it right now, but it's all part of God's plan. part of God's plan. Is the plan over yet? It's never over. Sorry, God's plan. Onto the planet goes! <laughs>